The previous slide had the result variance of AX plus B is equal to A squared variance of X. On this particular slide, we're going to look at two special cases. The first special case is when B equals 0, and the second special case is when A equals 0. Notice that when B equals 0, you effectively get this A, the constant in front of the random variable X, coming out front of the variance operator squared. And so one conclusion that you can draw right away here is that the population variance is a quadratic operator, just like the expected value was a linear operator, the variance is a quadratic operator. Constants can come out front squared. The second is when a equals 0, you'll notice that the variance of a constant is equal to 0. That kind of makes sense intuitively. If you take the variance of a constant, say, 7, well, 7 has no variability, so that'll give you a variance of 0. So you'll probably remember these in pairs. That is, the expected value of a constant is a constant, and the variance of a constant is 0. I'm going to look at two applications of using the population mean and the variance together. Sometimes you want to think of the two of them in pairs and here are two applications both from the business world on comparing uh, the two together and thinking about them simultaneously. The first is from the world of finance and that is something known as risk arbitrage. And what you want to do in this case is you want to arrange a portfolio of stocks to maximize the expected return. So I'm letting X here represent the return but you also want to do something else at the same time. You also want to minimize the variance of the return. So again, I'm defining x to be the return. And we want the largest return we can get in terms of the expected value of the return but we want as little volatility as possible, so we want to minimize the two. Those two are often in conflict, but that's at least the general goal of risk arbitrage. There's another one that's known as reinsurance. And in reinsurance, you want to limit the variance of the risk exposure. So oftentimes what will happen is if a company insures an entire skyscraper in a large city for example that would be too much risk for that one company to take on so in reinsurance they will sell that insurance floor by floor and effectively, what's that, what that is doing is other insurance companies are handling the first floor, and then the second floor, and then the third floor. And then that way, one particular problem that occurs with a large skyscraper does not uh, bring the entire original company down.